everybody, welcome back for a, another video. You see I have lots of stuff here on the table. I have all of my Traveler's Factory, Traveler's Notebooks, except for like one or two that the husband's using. He moved into one of his Pan Ams. Um, and then I think he has a brown passport that he's using. So I have um, a big bin of stuff here and a bunch of Traveler's Notebooks here. And um, we're just gonna, I, I, I wanna do something in a passport. I'm thinking I wanna set up a passport traveler's notebook for like art journaling and the like, or like just some sort of a little one to have on the go besides my wallet. And um, I've got a few of my passports here, and I got a bunch of passport stuff in here. But I wanted to, to, of course, you know the three browns that I'm using, my two original, and then the one I cut down to personal size. Those are still going strong. Um, but I wanted to look through here. This is one of my brown. That says Midori. What one is in here? This is my black that says Midori. It's a pretty one too. What's in here? Oh, this is my camel from the second time they released the camel. The camel leather I like from this release better than the newer camel leather. Such a pretty, pretty traveler's notebook. Then this one, this is the new blue. I've got a different, um, yeah, this is the new blue because it's kind of like fuzzy and suede. -y. And here, this will actually show you why. This is a camel from the Ace Hotel. And of course this one I used quite a bit, but it's like, this feels like my original Midori's. This feels like it's um almost like a new buck leather. It's, it feels like it's got like, like a new buck, like it's got like a fur to it. Um, I know it doesn't, but they're quite, quite, quite different. I like the old ones better myself. Oh, and I got a little envelope <laughs> at the bottom of it. So there's that one. And I love that one because it came with the green bag. I like the green bags better myself. Um, what's in here? This is one of the olives. This is the one that looks green, because we, we have another one, and this is the one that I used for a while. Um, we have another one that kind of looks more um, brown. Oh wait, is that the one that looks? Yeah, because this is the one that looks. This one is mine. I was silly and put pockets in it. I like the Midori pocket. I put the Foxy Fix pockets in it and just look at that. I gotta figure out a way to get rid of the elastic. This is a Midori pocket and this is a Midori pocket. But see how one looks, this looks a little brown and this one looks more greenish, I think. But they're from like the first set and then the second set. And I can't remember because I ordered one from uh, like the miscellaneous store, and then the other one I ordered from it was somewhere in England because we didn't have them at any of the shops in the States for a while. We were like one of the last places to get them, so I, <laughs> I, I went abroad to find them. What's in here? This is my Pan Am edition, and I did put the... Um, Midori branded pockets in there. Yeah. There's that. And then here's my um, 
train edition. And I do have the um, Tokyo Station charm on it. It's really pretty. And then the last one that I have that's standard size is a brown one. And this one says Midori as well. Midori made in Thailand. And this is mine that I got through the Narita airport. Yeah. You might hear Lila, she's playing with something. <laughs> so she might have gotten the Mardi Gras beads down and played with them. Um, so yeah, so these are my standard. So I've got one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, probably thirteen because I know the husband has two, uh, a blue one and a brown one. So yeah, that's that's a lot of traveler's notebooks, but. Um, you know, I, I don't think I'm going to get another one. It, it would be nice to get like the, one of the coffee ones, but eh. And then, um, I don't, I don't need it. Or the, um, I thought the Kyoto one would be nice, but what I was thinking of doing is, um, we want to, to make a trip to go to Japan when, you know, that happens again. And, and I want to visit the, um, uh, the... A couple of the um, Travelers Factory places. Um, if we go to Kyoto, um, I would love to get one from Kyoto. Oh, and I even have the writing board in there. Um, I'd love to go to Kyoto um, and get one there. Or um, I definitely want to go to the Nagamegara, the um, the you know the flagship store. And if if we go to the one at the airport, we do. If we go to the one at the station, you know, we do. I um, uh, it'll be an interesting trip because Chad has um, uh, we're both introverts in a way, and um, lots of people in crowds uh, can sometimes, uh, you know, <laughs> Chad doesn't like them. So I think going to the one at the Tokyo train station is probably not going to happen because, um, you know, I think that's just too much of, of a crowd. Um, but yeah, so these are just my, my really pretty ones. And like, I've never used the black one. I've put stuff in it, but I've never used it, but it's never leaving because, I mean, it says Midori. Um, Oh, and someone had asked that had never had a Midori or a Traveler's Company before. They asked about these. Here, let me take those inserts out. They asked about um, these these bags. Uh, the Traveler's Company comes with them. Uh, Foxy Fix sent theirs with the bags, and um, so did or so does Chic Sparrow and. Um, Lady Falcon Travelers, a lot of companies do now because, um, you know, they want to make sure that the um, leather stays protected. I'm just doing this so they will stand up a little bit better. But I have fewer. Let me put these over here. Oh. I have fewer passport. Um, I have my original brown. Let's see what else we got in here. So there's that. This is my blue one. Uh, it's like that real pretty. Um... So here's my pretty blue one. This one is mine from the uh, train station? Or no, not the train station, goodness. It says right there, Traveler's Factory Airport from the Narita Airport. It is, and there's the um, little insert. We might have a little kitty dive bombing us. Here is my black. 
that says Midori. This one I have used for a little bit. Um, it's one of my... I, I love the black leather, but I just never stay in it long enough. It was definitely a different leather back then than it is now. And and I, I think I, I like the older leather just a little bit better. Because look, here's the old one that says Midori. Here's the new one. Um, the old one is more of like a polished leather. And the new one feels very suede -y. And it, even the inside is quite different. Like, look at the nap that the old one has. And look how um, almost like sanded it might be. Like, they sanded it to get rid of this nap. And that's what I'm, I remember them having, the originals, is this nap. Not this sanded or compressed or polished feel. So, there are those. Here is my... Original Camel Passport, which I love. And I stamped this way before anybody started stamping them. Um, I stamped it on the inside. I wasn't gonna stamp it on the outside. Because as you can see, I'm not very good with stamps and um, it's a little funky there. But I stamped it on the inside. Let me take that out. And then I did put a, a pocket in. For the longest time I was I use this as a wallet, and so I would sometimes stick receipts or a driver's license in there. Um, and this is the elastic that came with the um, the blue, this mustard-colored elastic. I thought it looked nice with the camel. And then the last one I have is, again, it's a brown passport that says Traveler's Notebook. And, and you can tell this leather is different um, you know the newer leathers you know they're 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 all made in Thailand but I think um you know maybe the process of making the leather has changed over time or maybe because they're selling more of them you know they're changing the the turnaround time I don't know but I, I still love it I still love it. So I need to decide which do I want to use. I'm using this for my wallet, so that is staying the same. But I have my camel. I have my black. I have my blue. I've got the, the have a nice day. I don't want to use this one. Um... I don't I, I don't I want to save that for like if we were to go to Japan I would want to take that one with me I think um, I don't want to use the blue because I don't know it just has a weird texture to it and um, it's actually kind of faded it's starting to look a little it looks really dark blue on the inside but on the outside it looks a little Faded to greenish. Does that make sense, or am I colorblind getting in the way? So I don't think I'm going to use that. the The black I want to use for something more like professional, like if I use it as a wallet, or if I have it converted in a similar manner to that. I don't want to use that. So that leaves me my camel and then the newer passport in the brown. I mean, look at the difference. This I've had since 2013 and I've used the heck out of it. This I used for a while, but not nearly as long as I've used this. And I've used the camel quite a bit. These are the two traveler's notebooks that I've used, other than my standard brown. I think the most, these two. Um, but I'm not feeling camel right now. Does that mean I'm going to be all in brown? Hmm. Maybe. I'm thinking it might be an all brown. Let's take a look at some of the items that I have set aside to put in here. 
Um, and, and this, look, I've got some of my writing boards. <laughs> I've got to find where I have my 2015 one. I've got it somewhere. Like these are just some of them. I've got to find where my um, Pan Ams are. I've got a couple of those here. We'll put those in there. I don't think I have anything in here. Oh, some elastics. That might be a good thing to hold on to. Oh, here, let me put them back. Oh, those are all standard elastics. Never mind. Um, so, 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 so. Got um. I loved those inserts. I barely used it, just a few things, and that's it. I think I have a problem. Oh, this one has some stuff in it. Oh, it's got my little clips and things that you use as stencils. That's where those were. <laughs> um, so I have a, a few of these. These are four olive. <laughs> I've got um, another mustard, I've got a light blue, um, this is a really pretty blue. I wanted to get this blue in the large size, but they're quite pricey for sure. Um, Passport one in olive, uh, passport one in this, I forget what they called the blue, the passport one in this blue, and then, uh, da -da 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 -da. oh, I have one by um, Keely Reichman, that's really cute. Um, I've got a leather one, and then I have in here, Another. Another yellow one as well. So, what I'm going to do if we're going to use this one, I think I'm going to use the olive one. So here's the olive. There's something in here. Oop, it's a passport elastic. Good, I got two of those. Um, I do not want to use the leather one. Let's see, or this one. Now I have a couple of folders here. This is a craft text folder. These are Midori. Someone had asked about using a passport as a wallet. Something that I did was I took some paper, and this is like paper bag paper, like, um, like you know, a paper bag you get at a store. And I folded it into different sections and fit it. I don't have any cash on me because the husband needed cash the other day, and so he took the $8 that I had in my wallet. So I, I don't have any cash, but I can show you with, do I have, I thought I had a notebook with loose-ish papers. Well, here, we'll use the post-it note. What you can do is put a, a dollar, an American dollar bill will fit in here, and then it's almost like I made like a, a wallet <laughs> insert with two different levels and then you could put normal things back here. So you could put like cash in here and receipts and papers and stuff back there. So that's one thing that I've done in the past um, with, uh, you know, 
a traveler's company folder. And that's what all of these are. They're just a traveler's notebook folder. I think this one is, and this one. I think the one with the two little pockets is like a, a knockoff that came from like Amazon or AliExpress. This might have come in a um, Mo term. I'm not sure. Um, and then this one is a craft text folder uh, from Taroko Shop. And I like these because they're so durable. Like you could actually wash them and it won't destroy the paper. Um, I'm not sure what I want to use. I don't want to use this one. That one's kind of cute. I'm gonna use this one because it's, I think this is the very first one that I got. Um, so there's a folder. This right here is the Midori Traveler's Notebook. Uh, this is the um, like sketch paper. Ooh, I got something on it. It's um so it's a little bit thicker, so there's less sheets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight pages. So there's sixteen and sixteen. So there's a total of thirty-two when you count front and back. Plus one, two, three, four for the, the, the cover inserts, which is just Midori MD paper. So I think I want to use that. Um, I have two of those because this is a, a, the same thing. Uh, we'll use this one. Now I've got some lined paper, some uh, blank paper insert that I've used for a bunch of swatches of different things. That's all that's in here. I kind of like that. I might keep that in there. Here's another one that I did that stuff with too. The thing is, I don't have half of, I got rid of all my Crayola Super Tips. I gave them to a student. And then I've got a couple of, oh, I got another one of those. Um, this is Kokuyo paper. Let's set that aside. This is a, um, I think this is from January of, yep, January of like three years ago. <laughs> Because it was the last thing I ever got of Coco Daisy was January 2018, I want to say. Because I haven't had Coco Daisy in a long time. Or January 2019. Maybe January 2019. It hasn't been... It's been a couple of years. Or right, you want to say hi to the people? I don't think I want to put that. I want to create my thing. And here's another... Coco Daisy. This was from January of, I think, the year before that. Um, it doesn't say. This was another January. This might have been my last one. I don't know. They're they're both from January. One from 2018, one from 2019, and I can't remember which. I think this is the 2019 because I still have a little bit of that washi. Um, so what's here? This is a Lady Falcon Traveler, hand-stitched, and I think this is um, uh, Claire Fontaine paper, which is, is nice paper. Um, okay, that we're not going to use. That we're not going to use. I think these are the notebooks that I'm going to use. I'm going to use a folder. Let's see. 
Katie was helping to check to make sure that everything's okay. I'm gonna put the zipper pouch in. We're gonna put the folder in the center. And then I'm going to use this Midori Elastic. Uh, this is one that I got sent to me from Baumkuchen a few years ago. It was like something Midori was doing. Is that up the right way? Is that the right? Yeah, we'll make it be that way. Lila, no, no, baby, honey, come on, get out the way. Can I help you? I, I really don't need your help. I can do this on my own, thanks. And so here's what we have. Let's see how cute she looks. Yes, it looks like she's holding my notebook. Let's get her back just a little bit. So, we're gonna have the pocket zipper pouch. We're gonna have the um, sketching paper, which that is upside down. We're gonna have a folder in the center where we can put some stuff. And then we have a copio insert that I made myself. And then we got the back of the zipper pouch. And I'm going to put my little extra rubber band in there. These ones are so... There we go. And there we have it. So it looks like everything I'm using right now, with Lila's help, is in a brown. We have a brown Midori, which is my wallet. This one I want to have as like just a little sketchbook. This one is my planner and note taker. And then this one, I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with it, but I have started to put some colored pencil crayon swatches in here. Like those are my Prismacolor premieres. And, and we'll see what comes of this. So Lila and I just wanted to share a <laughs> quick little setup of a, another traveler's notebook that we're gonna come and find some really fun purpose for. So join us along the journey, especially little Miss Lila. She's enjoying her journal time. I enjoy her journal time when she's being good like this and not trying to chew up everything. But there she is, and there we are. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and I will get back with you as soon as I can, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. You're gonna wave bye-bye? You wanna wave bye-bye? Lila, wave bye-bye. Okay, she doesn't wanna wave bye-bye.